All right, guys, so y'all remember the side-by-side -side we bought for Sturgis, right? Really kick-ass rig, had a lot done, but there's always room to improve everything, though, right? And a big one on that thing was the audio. I think that was the only thing on it that wasn't just top of the freaking market. So I gave a call to my guys over at Audio Forums, and, dude, they are going to hook us up. If you want top of the line, like, audio tops and everything, these are the guys, dude. I'm talking about it looks sexy, it's loud, the lights are crazy. Everything you want for a side-by-side, -side, Audio Forms does it. So I'm about to load the side-by-side -side up, get it out there, and let them do the thing on it, man. Nice building. Mm -hmm. I guess uh, Audio Forms is uh, growing out here. Yeah. Yeah, they're about the top of the chain when it comes on. Ha, 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 they're about to top it, huh? Mm -hmm. Look at him go, man. Mm -hmm. Topping the tops and audio tops. You could have been a marketing genius. You know, I listened to your podcast for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, man? How are you been? Been good, dude. Good this is you. a hell of a kick-ass building. Uh -huh. Cool. Awesome. I like it. This is Ronnie. Ronnie's the owner. Ronnie, what's, what's going on, man? Nice to meet you, bud. How long ago did you build this? Probably <laughs> right before COVID. So, it was sort of scary. Just built something really big and then, uh, you know, shut down the economy. That, that'll get you. Uh... Trust me, I know. I, I left Discovery right before that, and I'm like, okay, I don't got no job. I don't know what I'm going to do, and now I'm shut down. <laughs> Seriously, that's what happened here, man. We, yeah. we moved our guys in. We're not even supposed to be working. And... All that stuff, and uh, yeah. it, it's worked out though. We're going to develop this into like a uh, retail center for anything power sports. So we are, we're on 17 and a half acres out here. So that's what we're going to sort of. I left the front, the frontage road alone to you know to build more retail. Yeah, and stuff just like that. I've always had that idea in my neighborhood. Yeah. I've been compiling pieces of property, and it's like if I could have you know a paint shop over here and a, and a badass upholstery yeah. shop over here, and my stereo guys over here, yeah. you know. And, and just have us all in one big park. That's what we were trying to do right here, and uh, maybe one day we still will and all, all that, so. Well, I guarantee you what you won't have, Gas Monkey Garage out here, because I am a straight up city boy, and I felt like I'd been driving for six hours. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it, was right. like, it was like right at one hour, and I would have, I felt like 20. <laughs> it is a little different out here. You, you, gotta, here. you gotta love it out here, but what we do, you can't really be in the city, man. You know, you gotta get out here, and because everything, it's all, and late fiber, that's everything we do. So there's emissions control, stuff like that. So it's hard to do it in the city. So out here, they let you get away with it a little bit more and you still have to have permits and all that stuff, but it's just a little easier to do. And I used to be actually over in Athens, which is even further away. Yes, it is. Yeah, so, and all that. So then we went to Wills Point, which is a little closer. Then we came here and got on the frontage road and uh, it's been it's been cool, man. You know, Super cool. How old's all the old forms? 25 year anniversary in October. Cool. We're on time. our 20 year anniversary right? this year, yeah. Hell yeah. So, I know, I've, I know you guys a long time. Following a long time. Show me how it all works, man. Down here we do all of our manufacturing. Basically we have liquid resin, gel coats for all fiberglass, and we turn it into these uh, badass stereo tops for side-by-sides. We do all of our own R&D, our own tooling, our own design. Uh, Terry over there, he's that's sort of an R&D area. So everything over here is all the molds. So you take the mold, and then you just lay the fiberglass in there and then shoot it with something? Well, you're going to shoot it with gel coat first. Let's we'll see if they have a top over here. Here's a mold, for example. This mold will get shot with gel coat, which is almost like a paint for fiberglass. Just imagine that way. So this paint's going to bond to the fiberglass when they go to laminate it. And that's the very first step in the sort of making these waterproof. And then after this step, we move over here. We'll shoot uh, resin on the hand laid fiberglass. And th that's where the art of it is. They'll actually have to roll this fiberglass out into the molds and make them mold them perfectly. So okay. it's it's pretty crazy. It, it's labor intensive, but it's the best way to get a high quality fiberglass part. And high quality. Oh, yeah. Read that made in America. Yeah, made in the USA. <laughs> hand laid fiberglass. There's there's quicker ways to do it. You can chop it where it just spits out everything at once because you can't control the thickness. Uh, the, they're super heavy and they're not as strong, believe it or not. So, yeah, so this is our hand laid fiberglass mat right here. So, we'll sit there and put that in a mold after it's gel coated and then wet it out and then start the rollout process. So, okay. it takes it takes, it takes takes some time. It takes hours to do it. And these are some tops. These have actually been bonded. So, this is a later step. We put so much crap in these tops, man. So much shit that subwoofers and all that, man, you gotta brace them and make them so damn strong. If not, they just rattle apart. Like, you can't do this with plastic rust, metal rust. Even normal fiberglass, so we have to come in here and brace them out. So that's sort of a step before they get sprayed. We got to come back if these are a higher level top like yours, so they don't rattle. So we have to come back and brace them out. And that's what all these tops are here, are here doing. They're getting braced out to make them even stronger. 
Fiberglass alone's not strong enough. We gotta brace them with fiberglass. Mm -hmm. It seems to me like some of these guys are trying to pull them apart. Oh, they do. <laughs> <laughs> Once we laminate them, well, here's some uh, pieces, for example, that came out of the molds. This is what they sort of look like. That's the top and bottom. Still a lot of work to do, but they, these are just basic shells right there. All these are shells over here. And then it goes into our cutting and grinding area, which we have a huge dust collector booth to control the dust. They go in there and do all the cutting, grinding, cutting the holes, all that, uh, all that stuff. We have jigs to help uh, so we know exactly where to cut everything out. So that's the next step. But here's where they do all the bonding. So next we got to take the top and bottom parts of the molds and bond them together to make a top. So now you got a raw top, raw bottom, bonded together. It's, this is all now a functional top. So uh, basically the next step's gonna be, we're gonna go over there to our polyurea department and spray it with that, what people will consider a bed liner. It's not, technically, it's a, it's a version of bed liner made for our tops to bond really well and to make it very durable and whatnot. So we partner with Patriot Liner. They have dealers across the whole country and whatnot. So that'll be the next step here. Here's some that's already sprayed. Bill over here. He's in charge of spraying all day. And then once they get shot, they either stacked over here, or if they're rush orders, they need to get out. They get flipped over here, and this is our all of our install bay right here, where all the guys will actually do all the install work. So do you sell them both ways? Do people buy them blank, or do they only buy them finished? We've done it both. Um, it, it just, people initially at first want to do, hey, I want to put my own equipment in there. And then they realize the work and how much time it still takes. Uh, typically, 95% of what we sell is lo loaded out, ready to go. Yeah, ready all to of our stuff is designed and manufactured for this application. Yeah. Everything. We used to partner with other name brands out there that you all, you guys all know, but they weren't building it like what we needed for this application. They were putting marine audio equipment in there, not power sport uh, equipment in there. That's great with dust, dirt, and durability, efficiency. We don't. Ha boats have these huge ass alternators and batteries on there to, to keep the party going. These, dude, you don't, you have little stators. Yeah. So you gotta be real efficient with little power. So you'll see as crazy as this system is of being a level six or whatnot, it's still not a ton of power. Yeah. It's a lot of power, but it's enough to where you replace the battery, and you're good to go and you can jam all day. Uh, that's what sort of sets us apart because it's easy to make things loud, but you better so have you the battery power. Replace the battery when you do the install, not like front. Okay. It's ultimately, if not, it's a, it, eventually the OEM batteries are gonna go, uh, are gonna go out, man. They just yeah. can't keep up. They're gonna discharge, charge, discharge. So put a good AGM battery in there. Lithium's coming a long ways mm -hmm. as well. But um, this being a level six is pretty much all you have to do. That's what sort of sets us apart. Our speakers are designed to get really loud with little power. Our amplifiers are really efficient, digital amplifiers. On average, they're 800 watts an amp. So people want to put 5,000 watts in a side-by-side -side and they can listen to it for 10 minutes. Yeah. That's what happens here. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this system's crazy, you know? So those are our tower speakers. Oh, yeah, everything's, we sell, everything's in a levels, basically. Yeah, here's your bad boy right here. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is about yeah. as extreme as, oh. Look at that. Yeah. Look at this gas monkey in it. What's cool about these, our speakers light up inside. These rings will light up. We have a patent actually on these rings for all of our speakers and even our subwoofer. So lighting's just as big and side by sides. It's oh, just yeah. audio, man. They I'm work. just learning because this is my first one. Right. So you're going to see, man. I'm, I'm learning all People this People love the flashy lights. This is not just RGB. This is IC RGB where you have over 200 patterns of the, oh. what these uh, LEDs can do, like whips and stuff yeah. that can chase up and down. Mm -hmm. These will chase and do patterns and cool shit, man. You can program your own colors. What does whip chase up and down? The light whips, they'll, they do different patterns and stuff. So like the oh. ones for the dunes and stuff. Lighting's huge, man. So yeah. it's something we started, it was so important we wanted to design it. So I actually got a patent on this design. Really? And it, yeah, it was something we worked hard at doing because it's actually an easy way to add the lighting. Mm -hmm. If if you have damp, you know, LEDs can be somewhat sensitive. So if they fail, this ring is interchange unchangeable. You don't have to toss your speaker. Okay. You know, so three amps on this level here. So you're running about 2,400 watts. It's a lot of power, but uh, you're pushing three 10 inch subwoofers in here. You know, there's not many our competitors that can yeah. even do that no, that's right. because the tops fall apart. And uh, this is really cool. And yeah, detail. since we do it in house, we can customize stuff. We don't do it a lot, but it's 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 fun. We love customizing everything. So whatnot. So yeah. heck yeah. So, you know, can't do that in a made in China product. Mm -hmm. How do you do that though? I mean, I just want Actually, to know the process. Do you, do you that cut That process this? there was, we're getting into 3D printing a lot. Okay. So we actually 3D printed that Letters. gas monkey. 
and we apply it onto our top before we spray it, just like Got these, it. and then spray over. Okay. So an overlay and it becomes permanent. 3D print is awesome, yeah. man. So you can't 3D. take this stuff off. It's all, that, that Gas Monkey Garage and Saudi Force logo, it's on there forever. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I it's, love it's, it. Yeah. And 3D like, yeah. printing's changing the game, period. We're building our SEMA vehicle right now. Right. We're working with a 3D print company that's Dude, we're actually, pretty wild. I'm super excited, man. I've been doing this a long time. Tooling's always been tough, man. It takes yeah. us four to six months, typically, to design a top from start, hand, we hand build everything, to, from start to finish, four to six months. Our first top we're gonna introduce for the Ranger, uh, the Polaris Ranger 1500, the newest one yeah. out. That one's our first top that we did, designed it 100% in CAD, and we actually 3D printed the molds. And really? the molds are huge. I mean, the, you just seen them down there. They're this big. We actually, they're, they're consisted about 50 pieces that Lego together to build us a mold. We, we did that wild. We did that in about two weeks time. So now we can actually laminate a, a part, test fit it, make sure it works, and then proceed with our tooling with that. It's, it saves months of time. It's, it's really exciting stuff. So that's what we're doing. We're starting to do more of. So that we're getting more than 3D printing. That 3D printing is the future, man. Oh yeah. So, um, it's but all this stuff has been this designed by uh, I got Terry down there. He's been my he's my first employee still with me. Um, he's a tooler, and that's what he does. He you know I work with him on designing these as opposed to just being a tool. Yeah right. He's a tooler. <laughs> Don't. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I didn't say nothing. No, <laughs> no toolers. Uh, 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 they're, they're, I have actually two of them here. I'm one of probably the only fiberglass company in Texas that has probably the two most experienced toolers that work doing audio stuff, not doing boats. It's crazy. Both of them have over 30 years of experience. Well, it shows. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but you need it. You need it. 3D printing will help them where they don't have to design a lot of it. I can design it on a computer, but they still got to get their hands on it after we pop it out and make and do permanent tooling. A 3D, 3D molds will not mass produce, you know, not yet. The technology is not there, but it's coming. What is this on the back of the speakers? That's y'all's logo there we put on there for y'all. Typically, we'd have audio form, uh, forms logos on there. We just wanted to change it up and do something cool for you guys. That's super cool. Yeah. So all this, even all this design is, it looks pretty cool. It looks custom, but it's actually, we designed everything to bolt on. So even the actual dealers, consumers can do this. I'm a big fan of bolt on. Yeah. yeah. So we try to make it look cool and fit. But we try to make it easier. Uh, that's what's cool about these tops, man. I mean, the hardest part is getting manpower to put it on here because they get heavy, especially these with all the level, with all the subwoofers and stuff in there. But that actually, four bolts, sometimes there's six bolts, um, positive and negative wiring, and it's real simple. You can actually get power to this thing in 15 minutes, you know? It's really simple. That's what's been part of our success, honestly, is making these easy to install. The average consumer or dealer can do it. We're audio enthusiasts, so any, anything we can make jam, and we just try to get to the masses with it and design stuff that we can sell to the masses, yeah. and, and but try to make it look custom, too. I, I have had side-by-sides. I know who you are. Is the six by six here? It better be here. It's probably in the back. Yeah, it's what here. It? You, you hey, have Mike. to see this. Our six by six is back there, right? It's been a long time coming. They ain't come for my cloth, they tugging it. Putting up numbers, 99 problems, and I still kept it a hundred. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. They ain't come for my cloth, they tugging it. Putting up numbers, 99 problems, and I still kept it a hundred. Yeah, who don't play? This is pretty freaking cool. Long time coming. Black on the bottom of my feet from running. Cataracts on my eyes from hustling. Going from buying and selling to customers. Run up the business. God is my witness. Sun up to sun up from Monday to Sunday. We matching our limits. My mind running like Tom Cruise on an action movie. Moving a the mission. They said that I'm tripping. I've been told I need a vacation. I'm finessing the visit. First class, my feet up high in the air on business. Yeah. Woo. Cover the city. Your city ain't working this hard for nothing. Little audio forms and gas monkey there. It's not finished. You put your mark on it. Oh, See, don't be gonna let up. It's on us to make it. It's on us to put us. It's gonna take some just to make some. So put that in your book. All right, guys. I can't appreciate it enough. This has been cool. You got a heck of a factory here, man. Appreciate it. Really cool stuff. We might have to get together on like some uh, accoutrements for some cars. I don't know. I, I can dream up some cool stuff. Oh, we and, can build uh, it. What have you. But this is awesome. We'll yeah. get it back in the shop, give her a good once over, and up to South Dakota she goes. Who don't play, 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 play.